Hello, it's Adam from Rebel Technology here. Today we're going to learn about how to build an FM synth in pure data that runs on the OWL. Now, FM synthesis is very powerful and it will give you the godlike ability to imitate all manner of sounds. And here at Rebel Technology, we only ask that you use these powers for good. Today we're going to build an FM synth. FM, or Frequency Modulation Synthesis, was developed by John Chowning, and it's the technology found in synthesizers such as the infamous Yamaha DX7, Ableton's operator, or native instruments FM8. FM synthesis is perfect for digital synths because it relies on the stability that you don't often get in analog oscillators. So, let's build ourselves an FM synth. I'm using Steve Cooley's Pure Data template, which you can get from the Hoxnell website. I'll delete the bits that I don't need for now. Frequency modulation uses one oscillator to modulate the pitch of another. I'll use parameter A to control the carrier frequency. First I'll scale it for MIDI by multiplying it by 128, and then I'll scale it to frequency values using the MTOF or MIDI to frequency object. I'll then convert it to audio rate using the SIG tilde object. This will be useful when we're doing maths with it. The carrier has a modulating frequency added to it, so we'll connect it to a plus tilde object. After that, it's connected to an oscillator. Now we'll create the modulator. We need a second oscillator, another osc tilde object. The frequency of this is proportionally related to the carrier frequency, so we'll multiply the output of the SIG object by something and connect that to our modulating oscillator. We also want to control the amplitude or depth of the modulating frequency, so we'll connect it to a multiply tilde object. Finally, we add this back to the carrier. Now we'll create an overall volume control. Now control the overall volume with parameter D. Now let's try playing our FM synth. Let's put some numbers in. I'm going to have a number box connected to the modulation depth and a number box connected to this, which is called the harmonicity ratio. If we just fade up the carrier frequency and the amplitude, you can hear a fairly pure tone. Now we put a whole number, the harmonicity ratio, start to fade up the depth, you can hear it gets brighter and richer. We've got lots of harmonic sidebands created by the whole number ratio, and the amplitude of those sidebands is increased as we increase the depth. Whole numbers will always give us these rich harmonic sounds. Here we try non-integers we get these rich inharmonic sounds with inharmonic sidebands. Now, you can get very different characteristics from different ranges, but for now, I'm going to have 16 for the range of the modulator, 2000 for the depth. There we go, an FM synth that's ready for the OWL. So, now we have the FM synth running on one of the OWLs. We can hear it if we connect it to the mixer. You can change the carrier frequency. You can change the harmonicity ratio. And you can change the modulation depth. And this here is the volume. Now we can get even more sense out of this if we use an envelope generator with it. And this owl is running an envelope generator. It needs a clock from the Kronos. And we'll connect it into the volume control. So we're modulating the volume.
We can also modulate another parameter, it's a dual envelope generator. So I'll modulate the modulation depth.